With the latest live letter, we got to see some of the job updates. In this video, we will be taking a look at the changes to the magical range DPS. All except the Pictomancer, who will get their own video. Make note, they did not go into detail on every change of every job in this video. Instead, they focused on the key points. The theme this time around is streamlining, apparently with the goal of enhancing individuality in 8.0. We start with the changes that affect all magical range DPS. The recast time for swift cast is being reduced to 40 seconds in the 90s level range, and the adult duration will be increased to 15 seconds in the 90s level range. Now let's start with the Black Mage. Various adjustments will be made to streamline certain aspects of the job, such as restoring mana points upon landing ice spells while Umbral Ice is active, instead of passively over time. Without a doubt, this is gonna adjust the rotation a little bit, especially if we have to keep in mind what is a good time to get that mana back up again. We are getting a new action to reposition ley lines, though make note this one only works once per ley lines. Still, it's gonna be very handy when that big raid AoE shows up that always seems to land just under the Black Mage's ley lines. So at least now, you can just shimmy over to somewhere a little bit safer. There will also be new actions added with the raised level cap. Next is the summoner. A solar Bahamut is the new summoning. It works like Bahamut and Phoenix, and with it, the rotation is of course gonna update. So now the big primal rotation will be solar Bahamut, Bahamut, solar Bahamut, and then Phoenix. Why solar Bahamut shows up two times there, I don't know. But that is what they decided to do. There will be a new action added to be executed after Searing Light, and for this expansion they won't be making any changes to the Resurrection spells, but there is a chance they will be removed from the DPS in 8.0. It just hasn't been decided yet. And finally, the Red Mage. Manification will no longer increase black mana and white mana by 50, 
and will instead allow the execution of injected swordplay without cost. This means manification can now be executed while mana is at 51, or more without a waste. The AoE Enchanted Swordplay combo beginning with Enchanted Moulinat will now consume a total of 50 black mana and white mana, similar to a single target counterpart. There will also be some minor changes, like when Embolden is executed, there will apparently be an additional attack or action that we will be able to use. And those are the Magical Arrange DPS. What do you think about the changes? I for one am a little bit disappointed that we're getting Solar Bahamut when we have so many amazing primals in this game. And I would have loved to see just pretty much anything else. But that's of course just me. Tell me what are your thoughts on it. Let's talk about it down in the comments. And while you're down there, maybe throw me a commendation by liking and subscribing. And in the end, all I want to say is tak for a horva, like the Indus Landach.